Wow, that is a really convincing cartoon Krabby Patty cake. I'm, I'm getting really good at cake decorating. John, there's nothing on your spatula. What? Yeah, look, it's right there. I, no. I don't know. I don't know. Keep it on. Keep it going. No! You freaky girlies out there really liked my last cartoon cake, so I'm like, well, I gotta make another. But this time, I thought, what could I make that is cartoon food? Like, a, like an iconic piece of cartoon food that I can turn into real food that looks cartoon. And I thought, a Krabby Patty. I'm wearing yellow today, because I'm a method actor, and I wanna like feel like SpongeBob while I make a Krabby Patty. Because who makes Krabby Patties? Famously, SpongeBob SquarePants. Spoiler alert, I've never made a Krabby Patty before. And actually, like, it's been a while since I was a kid. <laughs> That's a fun way to say I'm old. I want to do some research and like find the perfect Krabby Patty. What I was thinking, okay, in my head, a Krabby Patty can look m different. And I think there are different versions of Krabby Patties. So I've got to find like the version I want to go with. So let's, it's funny that like, this is my research. You know what I mean? Like this is my doctorate. <laughs> So that is the first Krabby Patty that comes out. So that's like the Wikipedia Krabby Patty, but that's like, I think a little too simple. They, they really do so many different Krabby Patties. That, that's a nice one. Okay, so we definitely, here's what we definitely need. We need a bun, we need a meat, and we need lettuce, but I also think I want cheese. Okay, I think, I, I think we're ready. Research completed. <laughs> do I get my PhD now? I'm ready, I'm ready to get started on this cake. Okay, that's stupid. So we're gonna start by carving the cake. Um, I'm going to take two cake layers of Funfetti cake and use a template to sort of carve, carve the general shape of the top and bottom burger buns. Um, and I think I'll be able to get like a, a patty out of, out of this Funfetti cake as well. We're gonna taper the top bun a little bit. The idea is that this is the top bun and this will be the burger and the bottom bun. So this I'm gonna split down the middle so it's both a burger patty and a bun. Great, so now we have the bottom bun, which is kind of rounded at the bottom, the meat of the burger, and then the top bun, which is like kind of comically large. And so these will all be stacked together to make a Krabby Patty. So now we're gonna start coating in ganache. As always, I put a blob of ganache down to secure the cake, and then we're ready to go. All right, so we're crumb coating the top bun the bottom bun, and then the middle burger patty. All right, everyone's favorite time. Chill break, it's a chill break, yeah. I don't know why I got nasally. Tonight will be the night. Chill break, it's a chill break. All right, well that's chilling. Let's play a round of F, Mary Kill. Today, of course, we're gonna do SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward, duh. Here's the thing, Squidward is obviously the kill option, I think, like most people would be like, kill him because he's like, wah, wah, wah. you know, you want to kill that. But I relate to that. <laughs> I'm a little, wah, wah, wah. also, I think as I get older, I'm more on Squidward's side. Like SpongeBob and Patrick being your neighbors, can you imagine? That would be awful. I think Squidward might be a good lover and his tentacles and stuff. I might F Squidward. Marrying Patrick would be a choice, but hear me out. SpongeBob, marrying SpongeBob, that would be like nonstop all the time. I don't think I could handle it. This is crazy and it might be like shocking, but I think I'm gonna kill SpongeBob and marry Patrick. Cause yes, Patrick is a dummy, but like, so are all the other guys I've dated. All right, cool. So this chilled. Now we're gonna do a final coat. So what we're looking for here is a much smoother, more perfect coat than what we have on the crumb coat, which is obviously messy. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna repeat this process for all the other layers. So the thing about this is like, want it to look cartoony and the way you make something look cartoony is making it look perfectly imperfect. Cartoons are drawn by hand, which is fun. Go hands. And you want it to look that way, but I struggle with that because I want things to look sharp and perfect and whatever. So basically I'm going against my like instinct. It's like really hard for me not to be perfect, <laughs> clearly. So <laughs> I, I'm not even being funny right now. Like this isn't for the bit. I, it's the best. I know this is really hilarious, but it's not a joke. I'm trying to lube. <laughs> 
trying to lube up my various shades of fondant. Luby hands, luby hands, luby hands for my man. He gets sticky when we get icky. And my spatula, he can lick you. Yeah. So these are the fondants we're gonna need for this Krabby Patty. So we got bun, cheese, burger meat, tomato, lettuce. And then we have slight variations on the color because on cartoon cakes, we have to outline. For the cartoon cake, I outlined everything in black, but for the Krabby Patty, everything's outlined in like a darker shade of that color. All right, we gotta start covering in fondant. So I'm gonna start with the burger buns and I'm gonna cover it in this beautiful burger bun <laughs> fondant. Let's go, let's roll. So we're just gonna roll out the fondant, drape it over the cake, cut off the excess, rinse and repeat. So the reason why I'm not covering every layer, like top and bottom and sides, is you're only seeing the sides of most of this cake, right? The burger patty, the bottom bun, and I wanna reduce the amount of fondant. Y'all are to me about how much fondant I use. God telling me I use too much fondant. Well, I'm trying to reduce fondant, and you say, oh, why are you not covering the whole thing? Well, what do you want? You're pulling me both ways. So you get the idea. I'm basically trying to, um, reduce the amount of fondant on this cake. Basically, if you're just gonna see the sides, there's no point in having fondant on top. So now I'm gonna start stacking the burger um, and then I'm gonna work on the toppings before I put the top piece on. So we're gonna start with the bottom layer and then I'm gonna take this beef patty and put it on top. So you can see the top's cracking just from moving it. It's such a thin layer of cake. No big deal, I'm gonna fill it with more ganache to kind of set it. All right, so now we're working on the toppings and I'm starting with cheese. So now we're gonna roll out the lettuce. We wanna get it kind of like medium thick because on a Krabby Patty, the lettuce sort of sticks up and out and takes on sort of a life of its own. So next we have to do a million little sesame seeds. And I've got this like very light, like sort of butter yellow fondant. All right, it's time to make this cake pop and look really cartoony. So we are going to line all of the edges of everything with sort of like a rope of fondant. And in order to secure the fondant, we have to add piping gel around all of the edges of this cake. And then we're going to use the fondant extruder to extrude these ropes of fondant. Whee! <laughs> and then we're going to apply that or adhere it to the piping gel. Are you real? Am I real? Is there an afterlife? Oh no! So there you have it, a Krabby Patty cartoon cake. If you try making one of these, make sure you tag me in the, pho in the, in the photographs, in your portraits of it, and I would love to see it. Like and subscribe and have a good night.